everyone, hello and welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we're back with even more Love Island The Game. This is season four and we're back to see what Bruno and Jade are up to, otherwise known as the bombshell season. Today is all about the final dates. After all the drama is done, you can indulge in a final magical date with the partner of your dreams. We're so close to the end, I can't quite believe it. Last time on Love Island, we saw what could only be described as an abomination to the ears. I should have been on stage. No, Angie, you should stick to the screens. Coming up on Love Island, it's a day of finals. And even though we're not quite at the final yet, we've got final dates. Can I kiss you? Final chats. I'm gonna miss you all so much. And I finally managed to get that porridge unstuck from that bowl I left in the sink. It was hard work, I tell you, but I think I managed to master the trick. But first, Tabi is making some stellar observations in a hope to distract the other islanders from the fact the final is coming up. Spoiler alert, it doesn't work. Have you guys thought about how, like, far away the sun is? A silence descends on the group as you're unsure how to answer that. I actually think about that a lot. No way! Yeah, doesn't everyone? Like, it looks so close, but obviously it's not. It's literally further away than anything I can see right now. And yet it's still so bloody hot! The final isn't far away though. Sh I'm trying to distract people! Have I ever thought about how far away the sun is? What are you on about? <laughs> Is this really what you're thinking about right now? Abby laughs. Girl, I'm frazzled. It's a wonder my brain's working at all. Did you know the Earth could fit inside the sun more than a million times over? We interrupt this absolutely stellar chat to bring you an important text. Hey, I got a text. Tabby sits up suddenly, adjusting her sunglasses. Me too. What does yours say? Jade, today you and Bruno will be going on your final date. Please get ready to leave the villa. Hashtag growing strong. Hashtag love garden. Oh wow, us too. She excitedly grabs James's hand who winces in pain. Oops, sorry babe. I'm going on a final date with Bruno. It's gonna be so romantic. Totally. I wonder where it will be. The sooner we get ready, the sooner we'll find out. You're right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. In the dressing room, you find Angie squinting in front of a mirror. You got your last date too. Yep. Good on you. I'm supposed to be getting ready, but I've just seen this damn spot and I'll be damned if I let Oliver see it. Want some help? I'm good. Almost got it. Actually, could you just hold my phone over it like that? I need some light. As the girls start chatting, you turn away and get yourself ready. I can't get distracted. I need to get ready for my date with Bruno. And it needs to be something incredible as it's the last date. Okay, so we need to pick something absolutely incredible for our last date. I really wanted to change up Jade's look, but I didn't necessarily want to get a new outfit. So I've opted for her changing out the color of her hair. So we've gone for a slightly more, I want to say ego vibe, but this is what we're going for. Looking good. Jay, you're so hot. Gosh, if I went straight, that outfit would be making me feel things right now. Aw, thanks, babe. You bid farewell to the other guys and then find your way outside to the Jeep, which is waiting to take you to your mysterious date location. When you step outside of the vehicle, you find yourself in a beautifully rustic flower garden set outside an old villa. Countless colourful blossoms line the sides of the path. Your eyes glance over each in turn, drinking them in until your gaze settles on Bruno, who stands waiting at the end. Hey. Hey. This garden is almost as beautiful as you. Smooth. Bruno's saying I'm beautiful. Well, afternoon, sexy. Bruno laughs. Good afternoon to you too. You're pretty sexy yourself. Sexy and beautiful. You feign a coy smile. You're too kind. He looks around the garden, gesturing at the flowers. It really is lovely though, huh? Bruno says the garden's beautiful. It's stunning. And there's just so many flowers. I don't know what half of these are called. It's perfect. But no, neither do I. Just then, you notice that Bruno is holding one hand behind his back. Wait, what's that? What? Oh, this. I picked you some flowers. Bruno reveals the bouquet in his hand. Oh, it's a pineapple. It's uh, got a pineapple in it. You what? Well, I started picking flowers, but then I thought, that's such a normie thing. Everyone does that, so why not spice it up? With a pineapple? Yeah, gotta keep you guessing, haven't I? <laughs> Bruno made me a pineapple bouquet. Um, I love this. It's so... you. Bruno grins ear to ear. Knew you would. 
Thank you, it's a lovely gift. You pull each other in for a brief but tender hug. A few moments pass by in a blissful silence. You smell the fragrance of the bouquet held tantalizingly close to your nostrils. So, shall we explore the garden? Let's! Bruno takes you by the hand and starts to guide you gently through the garden. It's filled to the brim with exotic, colourful, fragrant flowers. Some of them you're familiar with, but plenty more are completely alien to you. Here, look at this one! He points to a beautiful bird of paradise that's blooming not far from the path. Its bright orange fronds stand out from the surrounding flowers like a blazing sun. I heard it takes ages for these things to bloom, but it's worth it when it looks like this. Bruno's admiring the birds of paradise. I'm going to stroke it, just gently. You reach out your hands and you stroke the plant gently. See, I told you it would be gentle. The big green leaves are thick, almost leathery, whereas the flower is soft and ever so delicate. Wow. Bruno joins you, running his hand over the fronds gently. Your fingers touch for a moment. He smiles slightly and then pulls away. Oops. A short silence passes. You start ambling your way further up the path to examine the rest of the blooms and Bruno trails behind. You alright back there? Huh? Oh yeah, just admiring the view. He hurries to catch up with you, but there's clearly something on his mind. Something's up. Hey, are you all right? Huh? Come on, babe, at least be honest. Ah, all right, you got me. I'm a right bundle of nerves right now, which is on brand, I guess. He takes a deep breath. Okay, here goes. Jade, when I came here, I was just trying to get along, be funny and make friends. I was full of fake confidence. Even though I was laughing at everything, I was really bricking it, you know? And when I met you, I never could have imagined we'd end up together. You intimidated me in the best way possible. But when you actually started laughing at my jokes, telling me you wanted to be with me, it was like a dream come true. A dream I don't want to wake up from. I guess what I'm asking you is, will you be my girlfriend? <gasps> Bruno's asking me to be his girlfriend. Yes, of course I will. Let's win this together. Bruno's face lights up the very picture of delight. Amazing. You can't help but smile in return as he grins giddily from ear to ear. You both laugh involuntarily, and then Bruno embraces you suddenly, squeezing tightly. A long silence passes until... Um, Jade, I... I love you. Bruno just said he loves me. Oh my god, everything's happening at once. Oh my goodness. I... I think it's only fair. I never recommend saying you love someone if you don't feel like you do love them in that moment. You might come to terms with it and decide that you don't love them at the end of the day, but if you feel like you love them when they say you love you and I'm getting myself confused. But basically, I think Jade loves Bruno, so we're gonna say I love you back. I love you too. For a while, Bruno doesn't say a word, but he hugs you even tighter. Hey, Jade, can I kiss you? He wants a kiss. Kiss me however you like. He grins. All right. Bruno leans in closer, smiling as he closes the gap between you. Just for a split second, you catch his eyebrows crease as he inhales through his nose. Did he just sniff me? I'm going to ask him if he sniffed me. Did you just sniff me? Um, maybe. Maybe? Well, yes, but not in a weird way. Is there a non-weird way to sniff someone? 100% watch this. Bruno demonstrates his most seductive sniff, finishing with a flourish. You feel yourself start to laugh as he grins at you. I stand corrected. You pick up where you left off, eyes closed, lips seeking each other. Bruno gently sweeps you into his arms. I'm noticing a fair few typos in this episode. Is it just me? When your mouths meet, they melt into one, softly exploring one another. You can feel the hair on the back of your neck prick up. Then you feel his body stiffen and his lips grow tense. What's going on? You open your eyes to the image of Bruno's face crumpled against yours. His nose is wrinkled and his forehead creased. He pulls away violently, releasing you from the kiss. Then he lets loose a massive tectonic sneeze. That was some sneeze. I'm going to ask if he's okay. You okay, babe? Sorry about that. Sometimes I just get a whiff of something and it makes my nose freak out. No idea what it is. Guess I'll have to tone down the perfume for next time. Next time, eh? You both smile at each other coyly, growing suddenly shy. Can you believe it's only a few days until the final? And the prom? Bruno chuckles nervously. I can't get over how quickly it's come around. It's only a few days until prom. I can't wait. Really? I'm kind of bricking it. There's going to be so much to think about, so much... I don't know, pressure to perform? And to look good, to say the right thing. I know we've been in here doing a lot of that already, but obviously it feels like this will sort of be heightened. Yeah, for sure. Bruno stops for a minute, admiring a particularly bright pink rose. I have a question, actually. Yeah? I'm just wondering how important it is for you to win. Regardless of whether or not you think we will or not, do you want to? Do I care about winning Love Island? Of course I do. It's the whole reason we're here, right? Yeah, true. Like, I didn't just come here for a holiday, it's a competition. And it's a lot of money. 
It's worth trying your best for, right? Right. Bruno takes a small whiff of the rose in front of him. Wow. Sorry to change the subject, but smell that. You join him by the path side and lean into the fragrant bloom. You inhale a lungful of a beautiful, heady scent. It's so lovely. Then you look down at the bouquet in your hands and start to think. It was really nice of Bruno to get me this bouquet. I wonder if I should repay the favour. Should I pick a personalised bouquet for Bruno? I'm not sure if it's worth that. On the other hand, it could be a really nice way to show him what he means to me. I think it would be a lovely way, but I don't need to. I feel like we should be getting back to the villa soonish, right? Probably. I had a good time with you here, though. He reaches out to tenderly take your hand. As the sun sets over the garden, you and Bruno head back into the villa hand in hand. Romance, eh? It certainly is alive and well on this island. Or should I say peninsula? Coming up on Love Peninsula. No, that doesn't work. It doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Coming up on Love Island. Things start to get real. Like, my softness doesn't mean I can't have a backbone. And tears start to fall. Final group hug. Bring it in, Bruno. Bring it in. So now it's over to you. I will be streaming the last two episodes, either on Twitch or YouTube. I haven't decided yet. But if you haven't already, make sure you are following my Twitch and you've turned on YouTube notifications. Let me know in the comments down below what day works best for you, Monday through Sunday, and I will do my best to accommodate that day. It will probably be in the evening, BST. I want to know your thoughts and opinions and we'll get this live stream done and season four finished. I've held on for too long. Too long. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope Hope you enjoyed this video it was a little bit of a shorter one i did enjoy it though i'm glad that bruno and jade are official official jade and bruno as always let me know what other games and stories within them you'd like to see in future videos here on the channel and i will see you in the next one goodbye